Everywhere I look, I am seeing ads offering to sell me thousands of AI templates and workflows that I can use either in my own business or that I can resell to other companies and make millions. Is it a scam? Yeah, it probably is, but I wanted to find out. So I spent $47 to buy 2000 templates and here are the results. All right, so the first thing we got to do is go and find some templates to buy. And one of the quickest places, the first place I want to check is the Meta Ads Library. If you don't know what this is, it's just a place where you can look at all of the ads that are currently running on Facebook and on Instagram and see what's been running for a while. It's a great place to go if you're thinking about trying to put some ads out and you want to see maybe what's been working. If, if stuff's been around and they've been running it for a couple of months, there's a pretty good chance it's working. And so I thought I'd check it out. So I've, all I've done is I've typed in... AI N8N workflows in here. And there's a couple right here at the top, 4,000 N8N workflows. Let's take a look at this. Open this up. Oh, actually, hang on, don't wanna go there. Let's just go to home. Unlock 4,000 ready to use N8N automations to save time, grow faster. Okay, this looks like what we want. $17, that's all we gotta spend is 17 bucks and our life is gonna be complete. What does it say? 4,000 ready to use workflows worth $500 in a complete starter kit. Now, here's the thing we got to be careful of. Anytime you are in kind of a gold rush industry that is coming up, which very much in in and AI automations are, you have to watch out not just for grifters, but from outright thieves who are looking to steal your money. And so one of the things I will always do, this looks like a very professional site, but that's how they get you. So what I usually do is I come up here to the URL and you see how it's like go.neuroflow.com. I want to get rid of the go part and I want to see if there's actually a root website here that isn't just a subdomain. Neuroflow.com. Okay, so what they've done is they bought a domain and then they've set up a subdomain underneath that. I don't know why you would do that if you were a legitimate company selling legitimate products. And so that's a little sketch. I'm not real sure I want to go with that one. So let's go back and see if we can find another one. So these are all from the same one. You can see they're running a ton of ads trying to get you to buy their thing. Let's scroll down a little bit further here. Ooh, here's one, 10,000 templates. Holy smokes. Oops, that's not what we want. Let's see view summary here. Let's go check these guys out. 10,000 plus N8N templates, the ultimate N8N automation library. What? Let's see if we got a list of the templates that we get. Oh, look, they give me some different buying options. If I want the full one, I think it's, how much is that? Well, let's see. Well, how much is this? Oh, a hundred bucks. So I got to spend a hot, it's too much money. I don't want to spend a hundred bucks, but just to be safe, let's actually go here and let's take a look at the root domain here and see if this is a more legitimate company. Okay. So these guys at least have a root domain. They're doing all of the salesy stuff marked down from $500 to $99 offer ends in 23 hours. It's just 24 hours left to grab this offer. Okay. It's just their end. They're, they're, 10,000 N8N templates. Who's had time to create 10,000 N8N templates? That just seems like a ton of templates. Um, but I don't want to spend 99 bucks and I want to get more than just like 20 of them. So I'm going to search around a little bit more and see if I can find uh, one that will work, one that I think is safe and that also will give me some more variety so we can really test out whether or not buying these sort of templates is worth it or not. Okay, so here's what I ended up doing. I went to school.com, which is a site where anybody can set up a community and can create courses on pretty much anything you can think of. And I searched for N8N and I scrolled around a bit until I found a guy that I recognized his face. And since school is a very reputable company, I felt comfortable giving up my credit card information. This guy said he had 2000 pre-built templates inside of his community that were available for anybody who was a member. And so it was $47. I spent the money. I'm not going to tell you who the guy is because if this doesn't go well, I just don't want any blowback, but it turns out inside his community, normally what you would see is you would see a, a video that explains the walkthrough and how the template works and the breakdown of it and how to kind of use it. And then you can download what's called JSON, JSON code, and put it into N8N. If you've 
played around with N8N in at all, you're probably pretty familiar with that. Well, it turns out he only has about 20 of those sort of like example videos with, uh, with code to download. What he does have is a separate zip file that contains 2000 different N8N templates. And he's got them broken up by like AI research and RAG, Google Drive, uh, PDF and document processing, a, you know, Notion, Discord. But the first frustrating part about this is let's say I open up the Airtable one and we take a look at this AI agent for project management and meetings with Airtable and Fireflies. This is not a JSON file, it's actually a text file. And it looks like he's just got the JSON in the text file. It's not a big deal, but I just wonder why we didn't just put it into a JSON file and put that in here. Get Airtable data via AI and Obsidian notes. Handle job applications and submissions with AI. And, okay, so let me poke around in here a little bit and just see if there's one of these that might be useful for the majority of us that might that shouldn't be too difficult to sort of assemble. Okay, so here's one that pretty much everybody could use if, if they're doing any sort of social media, and pretty much everybody is, Twitter Virtual AI Influencer. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy all of this text, um, all this code, then I'm going to come over to uh, N8N, and I'm going to create a new workflow, and then I'm just going to paste that in. And okay, oh good, he's got some nice instructions here. So schedule posting. So this is a scheduler and it's going every six hours triggered with math.floor random. I don't know what this is. So let's go to chat GPT. What does this mean? So it's a random snippet that generates random decimal between zero and one. And so this little piece of code will output a random integer from 0 to 59 each time it is evaluated. Okay, I don't know why we need that, but okay. Configure influencer profile so you can, so you target niche writing style and inspiration. Okay, let's open that up. So manual mapping, what is your niche? Modern stoicism? Let's just say um, paleo diet and nutrition expert. What is the style? Very personal inspiration. Your inspiration comes from tens of books on stoicism. <laughs> All right, your inspiration comes from decades of experience with nutrition and the paleo diet. Now what, no this, is a this is a set node, I believe. It's an edit fields node. Okay, so here's what we're doing. It's on a schedule we're coming in and we're saying these are some fields that we're going to map and one is niche one is style and one is inspiration and then we're going to come into the generate tweet node and he's got four gpt4 turbo preview this is probably an this is probably old so let's just go with gpt5 now keep in mind you're going to have to set all this up if you haven't done this already you're going to have to come in set up your open ai account for this all to work you're a successful uh, modern twitter influencer your tweets are your tweets always go viral and we got another prompt that says you have a specific writing style and i'm that's going to be transferred from the lace so let's just run this here just run this bad boy. We'll pin it, hit the P button. And now write a tweet that is certain to go viral. Take your time and write it. So we got a, just a several different system prompts in here. Okay, execute the step. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, it didn't generate. Let's go ahead and just refresh the template here. We'll try and run it again. That may not be a fault of this, uh, probably not a fault of this workflow. It's probably just hanging it in it in. Okay, this is not boding well for this particular template, which looks pretty simple because we've been running it now for 53 seconds. We've been trying to execute this workflow and this is not working. And I don't know why, because this looks like this looks acceptable. Well, we can't get that one to run. Let's go see if we can find something else that will run. 
Okay, so at this point, you may be feeling a little overwhelmed at the realization that this whole AI agent thing isn't quite as easy as you thought it would be. Well, I got some good news for you. It can be. You see, the engineering team at Motion has spent years designing the most useful work tool for the 21st century, and they already have AI agents built directly into their platform that their engineering team can customize to fit your company's unique needs. So if you want a simple and friction-free way to add AI agents to your business, click on the link in the description for a free trial to test Motion out for yourself. And for everyone else, let's get back to the episode. So one of the things I'm noticing in here with these templates is that most of them are not going to be terribly useful for business owners or for, I guess, for people in general. So I'm looking at build a financial document assistant using quadrant and minstrel AI. Automate hugging face paper summary fetching and categorization workflow. Um, Custom insights with Quadrant, Python, and, inf uh, and information extractor. Like so the, a lot of these are just like I don't. These are very specific for probably for individuals that have, have very specific needs. Open deep research AI powered autonomous research workflow. So a lot of this stuff like you're, you're buying th thousands of templates, but I mean, how many of these are actually going to be useful to you and your business? but probably not many, but let's just find another one here that we can at least look at and see if we can get it to run. Okay, so here's one, CV screening with OpenAI. So let's, go, this will be good. So let's say you're trying to hire somebody and you wanna do a little bit of screening. Let's just try this. Want AI to help you with the screening process. And again, Look at these. It's one, two, three, four, five nodes. It's not, these are not complicated workflows. And that's not to say that they're not valuable, right? Because the complicated workflow, complicated workflows have a tendency to break and they look really good on social media, but, and on YouTube channel, but it's not, there are a lot of times they're not very effective in real, in real applications. So, but I mean, really, you could probably string four nodes together. Let's, let's find out. So what does this say here? So we got some instructions. I do like the fact that he's got instructions. This workflow is ideal for recruitment agencies, HR professionals, and hiring managers looking to automate their initial screening of CVs. This workflow automates the resume screening process using OpenAI for analysis and, uh, and for analysis and super base for structured data storage. Really? Where? So... What it's saying is, is that there is a OpenAI is going to analyze the resume and Supabase for structured data storage, but I don't see a set variables, extract the PDF document, analyze it, parse the data. Where do you, where does it connect to Supabase? Where do you store the information? It's not here. There's not even actually an AI agent attached to this. Just so you understand, this is not agentic. It's just a workflow. Okay, let's keep going. Store results in Superbase. Okay, but you didn't give me the part that lets me store it in Superbase. Download the file, extract the data. All right, so let's get into this. I'm not going to watch the eight-minute video because it doesn't make a lot of sense. So the first thing is the file URL. So we're going to map some variables. File URL, job description. Okay. <sighs> okay, this is super confusing to me, and I build in N8N all day long. So they have a file URL for Superbase but they don't, they don't have any way to access that file. I guess you're going to run this man. There's not even a trigger. There's not even a trigger node in here. There's not even like we're going to trigger it manually. It's literally just, Hey, here's some var variables. Here's a URL where there is a file, but this is a, this is not a, this is not a dynamic file, which means you'd have to come in here every time and replace the new file for the new CV. Every time you wanted to run this. Then there's a job description of what the job is. You're a recruiter in a recruiting agency. You are strict and you pay extra attention on details in a resume. Who wrote this? You work with companies and find talents for their jobs. <laughs> you assess any resume really attentively and critically. If the candidate is a jumper, you notice that and say us. Holy smokes. <laughs> this was clearly not written by the guy that I got it from. The guy I got it from is very American. 
So this is like something he cleaned up from somebody else and stuck in his group that doesn't make any sense at all. And then he's got some, this looks like stru- some kind of structured output of how he wants the data structured after it goes through and does its sets its variables. But again, I it's confusing. So then once we've got it in here, we're going to pass it and we're going to download the file and the file URL is going to be this file. Then it's going to extract the document PDF. So it's going to extract the information from the PDF. It's going to analyze it inside of OpenAI, which they're, I don't know why they're, this is so, this is so old. They're using an HTTP request node instead of just using an OpenAI node. You don't even need, this is old. Um, It's a way easier way to do it now. And then parse the JSON code, which again, I'm not even sure what they're parsing. Dude, this is garbage. Like I, you're going to be, if you're new, cause see, here's the thing. I think one of the yeah. things, the big draws for this is if you don't really understand how to build workflows, that it's, it's really attractive to go and buy all of these for your company rather than investing in the technology and, and the knowledge to do it, or just going with somebody like motion, who's already got pre-built agents inside and employees inside their, inside of their platform that integrates really seamlessly. I think there is this desire to kind of shortcut it and go out and pick up something like this because they they all say it's plug and play, right? They all say, oh, it's it's so easy. You, you just turn it on, plug it in, and it's going to work. Well, we've taken a look at a couple of them here. First one, I couldn't get to work. And the second one, I don't even understand it because it there doesn't make any sense the way that they put this together. It's pretty clear that this was created just, you know, just banging these out as fast as they could so they could turn around and then try and sell them to somebody and make 17, 18 bucks a pop off of them. You're much better off either A, deciding that this is something that you really want to invest in with your company and that you're going to be an AI forward an AI forward thinking company and really invest in the technology and learning how to do it and people inside of your company who understand how to do it or go the other way with it. Go with a product, a, a program, something like Motion where it's already there. The AI employees are already built in and that can begin to scale with your company. Uh, because doing something like this, investing any amount of money, I mean, I just set $47 on fire. Let's be honest. They, they, these are completely useless. 90% of them I would never even use. And of the couple that I looked at that we could potentially do something with, I couldn't even, I couldn't even understand them or get them to function. And so please be careful out there. This is the wild west. This is like Bitcoin when it first came out. AI is the hottest new trend. It is the hot, it's the hottest buzzword in Silicon Valley. And just recognize that there are good companies and there are good people who are really doing amazing things in this space. And then there are a whole lot of people who see this as just an opportunity to extract money from you. And you want to be playing with the kids who are, who are really investing heavily in this. And if you're going to be employing it inside of your company, please make sure that you know what you're doing or you go with somebody who does. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this saved you some money and I'll talk to you soon.